Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like in the video for some good luck for AMC. If you guys want some multi mize like I did, make sure to please drop a like in the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. All right, so we closed out the day very, very nicely. 6.63% in the green today, up $2.22. At the high of the day, it looks like we're up almost 8%, which is amazing. Not only because 6 or 7% is just a great green day, but on top of that, the rest of the market is having some issues. The iShares, Russell 2000, which AMC makes up a decent portion of, actually closed down today around a percent as well as the rest of the market was pretty red keep in mind we have seen this in the past though certain times in history when the rest of the market is seeing some issues seeing some red amc and gme have had some of their best days which also of course leads you to wonder if there is some sort of market correction or crash ahead what will happen to amc and gme First off, we have a new post from Peter Hahn I want to share with you all. Yeah, dumb money, yeah, gear up apes, this will blow low to the moon. Peter Hahn said, I keep seeing multiple media reports about AMC being a fool's trade that is being hype driven by Adam Marin and he is leading a bunch of market inexperienced millennials to their doom. So when someone like myself joins in, clearly the old boy has lost it and drank too much of the Reddit Kool-Aid. I know you should hate the game and not hate the player, but quite frankly, I find outlets that put out crap like this rather pathetic. There are so many indications that large institutions with serious pocketbooks and assumingly strong analytical research departments that are jumping in and buying AMC. Last week, I mentioned the Swiss National Bank increasing their holdings by over 300%. The latest 13F filings show Renaissance Technologies LLC increasing their stake by 250% also. And it's not only those few institutions that are raising their stakes. Let's go through some of the newest filings as far as Fintel.io. As of recently, we have some new purchasing going on from Harbor Investments. As of today, these are new filings. 10,205 shares of AMC. We also have Pictet Asset Management, 24,635. And we also have Quadrature Capital Limited, 16,731 shares. As I scroll through here, guys, 200,000 shares, 11,000 shares, 83,000 shares. It's not like there's just one or two institutions that are buying names like crazy. There's literally numerous, numerous 13F filings, 1,388,500 shares from KG funds. It's honestly endless, and it's gotten to the point where I feel like it's getting out of control. The institutions, the big money knows what's going on. Like Peter Hahn said, they have analysts that look deeply, deeply into the market, and they make their moves based off that. There would not be this many institutions buying this heavily into AMC unless something huge was coming. And no matter what the mainstream media wants to say, they can't disprove that. There has been a crazy amount of institutional purchasing as of recently. The data shows that. Next up, as far as the AMC total traded volume on the day, we ended the day at 86,750,000 total trading volume, which isn't all that bad. It's better than the last few days of trading volume at least. But keep in mind, guys, last time we saw AMC reach an next leg up, we were in the hundreds of millions of trading volume. So it is going to take a little bit more for AMC to probably jump like crazy. But with how high the short interest is right now, it is only a matter of time until some of these hedge funds start closing other positions, which could then trigger the mother of all short squeezes. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck for AMC moving forward here. And lastly, if you guys want to trade with me live along with thousands of other investors, go to the second link down below in my description and join our private exclusive Discord server. But be fast because we are only accepting a few more members. Thanks as always, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.